Now, those of you from Detroit, those of you from Detroit, you have a special relationship with Anita. All right? You got a special relationship with Anita. Anita Baker is a songstress. Now, the problem with a lot of these OGs and older women, the problem with a lot of these OGs and older women is that they're ruining, ruining what our perspective of, of them or was of them because they're now revealing themselves to be just like every other person and human being on the face of this planet that is full of flaws, issues, problems, and trouble. We can't just enjoy their songs and pretend like they was perfect human beings and that they did everything the right way and that they can be a legend in our mind. Nope. Every celebrity, including your mama, your grandmama, and your grandmama's favorite singer has Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and they are giving their unfiltered thoughts and fucking up our perspective of what they once was. Let me go ahead and share with you what's going on with Anita Baker. Make sure y'all get the likes up. Uh, this is courtesy of the Ricky, Ricky, Ricky Smiley Morning Show. They're going to give you a breakdown. And then I also want to give you somebody else's take as a result of it uh, to, give, to bring you up to speed of what's going on with Anita Baker. Let's continue. Drop it like it's hot. You can catch me at when you switch from hot to cold, you can save up to 100 Everybody, I'm your girl, Brad Tat Tat, and this is the hot spot where we bring you music, movies, and more. So let's get off into it. Woo, Anita Bacon and took the social media, y'all, to call out Babyface and his fans amid issues on the Songstress's tour. Now, the R&B icon has claimed that Babyface has breached his contract as the opening act by staying on stage past his set time. Now, I thought this was over, y'all, but she wanted to make it clear that she's not being mean. It's not her. This is all part of the contract, which is cutting into her headlining performance, and she don't like that. Now, fans responded to Anita calling her out for not acknowledging Babyface as her her equal and she made it known that she doesn't think the iconic singer songwriter is her equal replying to a comment that questioned why babyface was labeled a support act baker tweeted dearest one you are not privy to the contracts. Yes, Babyface is a special guest support act on my tour. Uh, this false narrative of a co-headliner is creating unrealistic expectations and aggression from his fans toward me. He should tell you guys the truth. My first question is, is this even really Anita Baker that's on, on Twitter tweeting all of this? I just want to know, is this really Anita Baker that's on Twitter tweeting all of this, going back and forth? Because the one thing that I will say about Babyface is that Babyface ain't even saying nothing. He just completely removed himself from it. He not saying nothing about it. He just chilling. Babyface ain't saying nothing at all about nothing. Not at all. At all. She out here she got to take responsibility for it because it is, it's her Twitter account, but she out here calling him. This is what I'm trying to understand. Why we ain't just getting that bag. He ain't said, why, why are we not just getting the bag? It's not a fake social media account. It's her account, but I'm wondering if she's the one that's controlling it. So the issue basically lies where they're on tour together it's her tour and she continuously says that he's not a co-headliner he's supporting act meaning that he's less than her right and people were complaining basically that the tour it's kind of messed up because Babyface cuts into her time a little bit when they don't when they don't get started on time, which means that somebody got to cut their act short. And so fans have been complaining about the face the fact that Babyface has has had to cut his his set short because he had to make sure that he accommodated the idea that Anita Baker wanted to be on for the entire time. 
Now, the first thing that we have to ask our, ourselves is, who are the people really there to see? Are they there to see Anita Baker or are they there to see the babyface? Because babyface is more of a producer than he is than he is a performer. But babyface is also a performer, and babyface in a lot of people's minds is still a lot more legendary. I thought that it was absolutely awesome when I seen babyface pull up on Lil Wayne's uh, the Carter album, because um, that was a phenomenal feature. But you got to ask yourself, who's the people that's buying the tickets? Are the people buying the tickets to go see both of them? Are they buying the tickets to see Anita Baker? Or are they buying the tickets to see Babyface? One person responded, with all due respect, did you call the Babyface? Did you call the Babyface a support act, LMAO? She responded, as you can see, some of his fans are not accepting the reality that he is contracted as a special guest slash support on my capital, my tour. Some even want to hurt me. Crazy town. Back in May, Babyface took to Instagram to apologize to fans who came to see him at the New Jersey Prudential Center, saying that he couldn't perform at the request of Anita's team, who cut him so that he could not do his full show. So Anita is letting y'all know what really happened. He is not a co-headliner. He's a support act and a guest, like kind of like an opening act for her tour. So there's a difference, right, Ricky? Yeah, it, it is. Uh, we got to take a look at the contract mm. and, and see, but I'm not sure if... Uh, a a co-headline is when was... both acts kind of get the same amount of time. The question becomes, why is she going back and forth with fans online instead of actually addressing him directly? Why is she sitting there saying, hey, call your fans off, call your dogs off for, for being upset at the fact that you had to cut your set short and then they mad at the fact that they couldn't see the rest of what it is that you had on your performance in order to be able to, for me to, to be able to see my whole set. And allegedly, especially I'm, I'm seeing people in the chat and I've heard this myself, that Anita Baker allegedly is a very difficult person to work with. And every time somebody says anything about her or you mention her, mention things about her to other people, then they feel a certain type of way about working with her. Why is she going back and forth with the fans instead of going back and forth with the person that she's supposedly headlining with? But apparently she kicked him off the tour. Uh, and Tank had some things that he wanted to say about it. So let's hear what Tank had to say about this. What's going on, people? Um, listen, um, I, don't, I wasn't going to say anything, but it's kind of hard. It's really hard for me to stand by and let um, one of my heroes, um, one of the nicest human beings ever, um, just be attacked and, and be vilified for no reason. Um, guy by the name of Babyface. Uh, just did Tiny Desk with him, which was really awesome. I appreciate him having me. Um, my Tiny Desk drops tomorrow as well. Shame this plug. Um, but somebody has to say something. When a man stands accused of doing something that he hasn't done, hasn't done anything, apologize to his fans for not being able to perform after he was told he would not be able to perform I, so somehow whatever happens after that is his fault but i think that men largely over time and again i talk about this and i'm gonna I'm be doing a live stream a wednesday night live stream on the anton daniels channel i talk about this regularly i think that men largely have been taught to be docile especially if you have a platform. Men have been taught to be docile, meaning that women should be able to say whatever it is that they want to say, whether they famous or not. Because if babyface then respond and then throw her under the bus, it actually ruins his, his, it ruins his reputation because he's supposed to be above it. He's supposed to be stellar. And so it's the same thing in relationships as it is in professional life, as it is in being a celebrity and so on and so forth. The minute, honestly, the only thing that babyface can do is to stay above it because the minute that he starts to raise hell and go back and forth with Anita Baker, Anita Baker, Anita Baker, the minute that he starts to go back and forth and tell his side of the story, he starts to lose some of his polish, some of his luster. 
and then he loses um you know maybe even some of his fan base because there are some rabid fans of Anita Baker and we've been taught that they can say whatever it is that they want to say and be able to get away with it and so Tank finally finds an opportunity to be able to insert himself into this so that he can plug his tiny desk concert but neither here nor there but Babyface has to it's it's no way that Babyface can win this situation. Either he suffers on his performance or he suffers by being kicked off of the tour or he suffers by responding to Anita Baker, but in any way he looks like the bad guy. No matter what happens, Babyface unless he just doesn't respond whatsoever in all facets of this conversation Babyface looks like the bad guy. There's no winning solution for him. I just... Now you... Like you kick him off the tour? Then I, and I, I want to respect my elders. I do. I want to respect my elders. And, you know, I guess, you know, stay out of grown folks' business is what they say. Um, but somebody got to say something. Babyface? You... Do this the babyface? I, that don't seem wrong to y'all. Something don't seem, something, something don't seem wrong about that. Like he didn't do anything. He didn't say anything. He, nobody's gonna say anything. We have to protect our black women. I see where you are, you guys are. I understand that. But who's protecting our black men? Our our black heroes. That guy. Army money. I'm reading your super chat shortly. Um. I agree with Tank 100%. And it's funny because even if you listen to the way Tank is talking, he's very much tiptoeing around it because we can't hold, especially if you are an older woman. There is nothing worse than having to deal with and go back and forth with an older woman. Nothing. Older women are worse than the younger women because older women are largely the reason why the younger women are the way that they are and they're even more set in their ways, but then we're supposed to herald them and hold them on a pedestal. And so as a result, you can't even really take them, take them to take them to town and hold them accountable, accountable in front of the congregation. Because no matter what, Anita Baker and a lot of people mind is above reproach. And they still gonna go and see her. And nobody wants to mess up her money because listen, get your money. It doesn't matter how many people say that she's difficult to work with. There's nothing worse than going back and forth because A, you always going to have the people that defend her because they look at her as a legend. B, she's a woman. C, she's older. And then D, they, get, they feel like they can get away with it because the older you get or the older you grow to be, the less you give a fuck and that you, you really can stand on and be whatever it is that you want to be. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, I hope that they can work that out. I hope that 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 fixes itself, but it's very much unfortunate that uh, we're dealing with and we're we're entertaining the idea that our legends aren't as legendary as we think that they are. Uh, shout out to Babyface. Hopefully, uh, he recovers from being kicked off of the tour. Um, and you you can't mess up the money. That's really what it comes back down to. I see so many people letting their egos get in the way of the money, and so you don't mess up the money. No matter, I don't understand. Maybe I'm the anomaly here. Maybe I'm the person that's willing willing to endure a lot longer than most other people because I understand that it's a lot of money and it's a, it's a big bag on the line. I'm never willing to mess up my relationship with the A side. I know my I know my place. I understand exactly where my place is. One day I will be much bigger than I am now, but as of right now, is no way that I'm going to fuck up the money. You going to let your bag get in the way because of your ego? I've seen it happen and play out multiple different times. It happens every single day. I'm going to let it play out and mess up my... No, heck no. Unless I see a much bigger bag that's on the other side of that. Why are we sitting here talking about... And see, I see some people say he needs to do his own tour and all of that. How do you know that 
he feel comfortable enough to be able to do his own tour because he don't really feel like he'll sell out. Man, it's a lot of factors that go into promotion and it's a lot of work and all of this other type of stuff. And so, listen, it's much easier to be able to sell out a venue when you when you able to co-headline or you able to work together or you able to get that bag together. But in most instances, even if it, even when it comes to celebrities, a lot of black people can't work together long term. And we don't just see this with the baby faces and Anita Baker. This is just the thing that's just most surprising for us because we like to think that older people have figured out how to be a lot more professional and work together. But you see this all the time. I've seen it with rappers on tour. Rappers be leaving a tour. I didn't seen it with R&B singers on tour. I seen it was, uh, I think it was Jeremiah and Party Next Door. If I'm not mistaken, it was like Jeremiah and Party Next Door and they was competing against each other and all of this other type of stuff. And I think I seen it earlier with B2K. They can't work together. Somebody got to sleep with somebody else's baby mom. It's just all reckless, dumb shit. 